Hello everyone, it's dark. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today's video is going to be me showing off my collectibles and stuff. And I'm going to keep this short because I've tried filming this video twice now and I figured out that my phone does not rotate camera once you start filming. So, here we go. Gonna take you over here to this magical shelf. And boom, we're there. So, let's open this baby up. And actually, let's start at the top. Close you. We have Harley Quinn, Living Dead Doll. You've seen her in one of my reviews. We've got Chucky, Life Size Doll. He has his knife somewhere. She has her knife somewhere. I have Tiffany as well. She is in rough shape. And that is because I got these dolls when I was very, very young. <laughs> when I shouldn't have. And I didn't take very good care of them, sadly. But, you know, I tried my best. Her hair is a mess. And now that I'm pretty good with the wigs, I should actually try to fix it again. But, you know. I also have Jigsaw. You guys know about that. And then I have these two. Um... Matre does Mortz, I believe. Uh, drawing a blank on that living doll's name. I can't believe I don't know the names of the dolls I have, but you know, this is the other one from uh, the Mulan Morgue series, which is one of my favorite series. All right, now I go into the cabinet. In the first shelf, we have mainly horror stuff up here the second shelf is like nerdy comic stuff and the last stuff's just kind of like miscellaneous honestly wonder woman should be up here but this whole sh cabinet is like mainly harley quinn so um so in the background we have this child's play original poster it's kind of messed up my mom got a hold of it and didn't take very good care of it but um it's from ireland and it's from the original child's play movie so it's like it means a lot to me, <laughs> to be honest, because, you know, I have an Irish heritage, so, and I love Chucky, so it was pretty awesome. Alright, let's start in this back corner. We have pretty, uh, decent-sized Chucky. Um, not really sure where I got that one from. Pretty sure it was eBay. Most of the stuff I got was from eBay at the time. My parents just kind of went on a shopping spree for Chucky stuff at one point in my life for me, and I just kind of ended up with a lot of this stuff, but... I am not complaining. Also, if you see this little zombie guy in uh, Chucky's pocket, that's from like a little mystery pack of like Walking Dead figures from GameStop. <laughs> I just decided to put him in there because he kept falling over. These are voodoo dolls. I don't know if they're real or not, but let's just say I messed with them a little bit, tried doing what the direction said, and I got the opposite results, like I wanted good for my mom and I got bad for her and I wanted bad for someone who was bullying me at school and they, we ended up like becoming friends, so <laughs> it's kind of weird, but voodoo dolls, man, am I right? Um, we have this little Tiffany doll, got her off eBay too, I'm pretty sure. Her jacket is literally made out of like a garbage bag or something, I don't know, the material is so weird. It, like, fell and shredded completely, as you can see, there's pieces, like, by her foot and stuff. It wasn't a very good doll, but I keep it anyway, because, you know, I love Chucky and shit, so. She also has the little swordswoman on her head from Walking Dead. I forgot her name. I don't, I didn't really watch the Walking Dead series too much. I'm more of the video game person at the Walking Dead, but that's me. And as you see here, this glorious masterpiece is Jack Skellington. Uh, I got him from Walgreens uh, around Halloween time one year. It was really fucking awesome. I got him for my birthday. My dad bought one of them, and then his girlfriend bought me the other one. So, uh, here is the Wire Twins and the Torso. I'm not sure if that's his name or not. I think that is what it said on the package when I opened it when I was <laughs> a little kid. On one of my old channels, you can go and watch that video. I mean, I'm so mad that I did that, but I did it for a video. <laughs> and I was like, why did I do that? But now, I do the same fucking shit, so what's the fucking difference? Anyway, there goes my, any demonetization I had. Monetization, I mean. Alright, and then we have Freddy in the middle. You know, he's just chilling. He's got a lady's head in his hand. Not really sure who that is. One of you hardcore Freddy fans can probably tell me. 
you can see her. Let's get her out a little bit. Who's that? Guess in the comments below. You let me know. Alright, is this flash doing any better? Maybe you can see a little bit better. Alright. Here's Tiffany. I'm not sure what's on her nose. Ignore that. Here's Tiffany. She came in the Seed of Chucky 3-pack. She has her uh, turkey baster in her hand. You would never know, but this doll is very, very old, and you want to know how? <laughs> her foot's missing. Uh... I, this is my like, second set of this set, actually. The first set I had, I fucked them up really bad. I'm telling you, I got all these sets as kids. As a kid. So, um, it, everything's kind of fucked up, you know. I really wish I wouldn't have done it, but, you know, that's just how it is. Um, we have Chucky here. He is from Child's Play 2. He is not from the 3-pack. I cannot find that Chucky. Wish I had it, but I do not know where he is. Um, we have the heart of Dumball all around his head. If you want to see it. It's pretty cool, actually. A day do a Dumbala awake. One of the best fucking scenes in Cedar Chucky. Um, then he came with this little thingy because it's from Movie Maniacs. Sorry, it's getting blurry. Um, there he is. A little dirty. Then there's Glenn. <laughs> now Glenn's arm is off because, once again, had these as a very young kid. Also, this Glenn is just made cheaply no matter what. Both Glens I had, their arms just fell off. And it's the exact same arm. It's the arm that says Made in China on it. Come on. Focus. Come on, my camera's better than this. Alright, I'm not going to waste your guys' time. But it says made in China. Alright, this <laughs> Chucky was from China, as you can see. Um, also from Child's Play 2. Wow, I have a lot of Child's Play 2 Chucky. Sorry, I almost dropped the camera. Um, yeah, it's the one with the ruler. One of the best scenes in that movie. He wants you for a best friend. Then I have my Chucky playing cards. One of the cards in there has Tiffany's tits. It's pretty awesome. Uh, here is... The first Chucky doll I ever got. And I got this Chucky when I was about 6, 10 years old. Not 10. <laughs> I was like uh, 2, 7. I don't know. Something very young. It was a single digit. And uh, when I got this doll, the box had said, uh, not like ba battery operated or anything like that. It doesn't come with batteries. doesn't include batteries. Stuff like that. does not talk and everything. And, um, when I got it home, and I was just like, Mom, Dad, please let me open it, please let me open it, I regret them letting me, but they did, and, uh, I pr found this button <laughs> on the back of him, and I was like, oh, what is this, a button? Glenn fell, and then I pressed it, <laughs> and I fucking freaked out. That's not his only catchphrase, <laughs> to be honest, so... <laughs> he says a lot of other shit, but I'm not gonna take it this time. God damn, he's just knocking everything. Alright, so that was my first Chucky. Uh, this other Chucky, I got him from my stepdad. He won him in a crane machine, which I could not believe that there was a Chucky doll in a crane machine, but... He did. Uh, and yeah. Here's the other statue that I got. It is Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Also, this little book that's like not related to them, Chucky or anybody at all. I just thought it kind of looked good there. It's like a little earring case. It's pretty cool. Alright, on to the next shelf. Woo, woo, woo. We're on the next shelf now. Alright, let's start in this corner. We have a little... Batman plushie in the window. Pretty cute. Uh, we got this little Harley headphone hanger thing on the white wire thing that I have in here. This is a little white box. If I turn it off and turn this on, then 
you can see the little lights. They're very, very dim, but uh, yeah, kind of pointless, I know. All right, let's continue. We got a Batman Arkham Knight Harley Quinn figure. All the pieces are still in there. Got her at a comic book shop. Fucking love that thing. Uh, Harley Quinn, Batman the Animated Series Funko Pop. Uh, number 156, got her 10 bucks, you know, at a comic book store, not bad, not bad. Cheaper than Hot Topic. Um, we have this little Harley Quinn minifigure thing that I have. Very cute. Uh, that, um, Suicide Squad, Suicide Blonde, I really hate Suicide Squad, let me say that. But that came from a splat hair bottle dye thing that they had going on. I just kind of took it out of the box. I wanted the comic. It's a little comic from with Splat. It's pretty good actually for being Suicide Squad and all. Um, uh, this is, I'm sorry I'm like touching your boob. <laughs> um, my Harley Quinn classic uh, animated series Piggy Bank. And we have a classic Oh, um, no, that's the new Batman Adventure, so that's a newer one, kind of. It's not the animated series, which is my favorite Harley Quinn, if you could not tell. Uh, that's a little bendable figure. Got it at five below, but that was fucking awesome. Couldn't pass on that, you know. Uh, my little uh, Arkham Knight Harley Quinn figure, like three bucks at Family Dollar. <laughs> but when I see Harley Quinn, I have to get it, you know. Uh, this little Harley Quinn is from the DC Superhero Girls. I think she's kind of cute, actually. I don't mind the color scheme too much. I got her. She's like, seven dollars for this. Can you believe that? It's fucking nuts, but. Here is my Zippo lighter. And the flashlight. Here's the Zippo. It's Harley Quinn kissing Poison Ivy. Got it at Pride. <laughs> Very fitting, I know. Alright, and here is the Stormtrooper head that I colored to be Harley Quinn. This is when my art skills were very bad, so it's not very good, but I actually kind of like it still. So. Here we have my DC Comics Harley Quinn, a regular classic icon figure that I have. It was like 15 bucks on Amazon, pretty great, number 13. I love it. Um, have a Joker piggy bank to match this one. Uh, I don't ship Harley Quinn and Joker at all, like don't get me wrong, I ship Poison Ivy and Harley obviously. But, you know, I have to get Joker to have, to match Harley, you know. Uh, and then I have Batman Arkham Asylum Harley Quinn, because I love that nurse outfit of hers. And I had to get something to show that, you know. Little Funko Pop, whatever. Uh, then I have this nice poster from a Comic-Con. It is Harley Quinn crushing Batman with her legs. <laughs> uh, I love that picture. My ex got it for me, but, you know, I love it. And we have a Harley Quinn plushie. Surprised I don't have that in my bed, but it has a box stand and everything on it, so I just kind of left it alone. Um, then I have a bendable Joker figure from the Batman classic, you know, the 80s. I think that was way before, that was not 80s, that was like 70s, 60s Batman show that that's from the Julius Caesar guy. Yeah, that Joker. That's that shelf. Now we go on to the last shelf. Woo woo woo. This should actually be up there, but that's a Harley Quinn silhouette sticker. As you can see, it's gonna go onto my car. Uh here is Wonder Woman with her sword and shield. She should be up there, but you know, that was like a Harley Quinn shelf, so. Uh here's my little garbage pale kid vinyl figure. I love garbage pale kids like to fucking death. The movie's amazing. I wish I had cards. I don't really. I had some, but the, I fucking used the, the stickers on them like an idiot. Um, here's the Lord of the Ring Pez collection thing that I have. It came all in one pack. I love it. Um, I love Lord of the Rings. Best fucking thing ever. Like, don't even fucking. <laughs> don't even, you know. Uh, here's my little Led Zeppelin uh, poster thingy. Not really sure what to call that. It's just like a little wooden plaque. 19... 1985, I think that says. Yeah, 1985. Um, got my little Dr. Evil doll back there. He's a chillin'. He's just chillin'. <laughs> and then I have a little penguin. 
uh, clay, clay mold I got it at the zoo. Got a little red, white, and blue beanie baby. I'm not sure if that's worth anything. The thing it's sitting on is the origami figure from Heavy Rain. I did not put it together. Uh, there's my Elsa vinyl figure. I love Frozen. Fucking sue me. Here's my Katy Perry guitar picks from The Sims. And here is my Harley Quinn metal plaque. Couldn't fit it up there, so I put it down here. I love that fucking thing so much. Here is my Blondie. Ladies of the 80s Barbie. I fucking love that doll. <laughs> it's amazing and beautiful, and I wish I could open it, but I can't. And then back here, we just have like a little weird antique clock thing. It's pretty cool, actually. Also, didn't really say anything about that owl, but that's another little antique thing that's in there. And now we go to the end of the video.